What makes XRP special is the technology and goal behind it. The XRP ledger, Ripple's consensus ledger, works with a group of separate validators who make sure transfers are correct. Traditional blockchain-based cryptocurrencies are slower and can't grow as quickly as this system can. The XRP system can handle up to 1,500 transactions per second, which is a lot more than Bitcoin and Ethereum can do. Transactions are usually confirmed within seconds. And because it is so efficient, transaction costs are very low, which makes it a good choice for banks and other financial institutions that want to streamline their foreign payment processes. Ripple is also different because of how it works with partners and other banking systems. Ripple wants to get rid of the old and expensive SWIFT system by working directly with banks and payment companies. This is clear from the fact that they work with many banks around the world which use Ripple's technology to improve their international banking services. And now for the crazy part. This rising interest around the world is summed up in a tweet by Ido Farina. Thailand, which is another country that has been talking to Ripple about adopting XRP, has just applied to join BRICS. Uh, the BRICS countries love XRP. This shows that countries and big economic groups are aware of how XRP can help them improve their banking systems. BRICS, which stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is a big part of the world economy. Their interest in XRP shows that it is becoming more popular and could have an effect on global trade. If XRP is used all over the world, it could have huge effects on its value and usefulness. Uh, as more countries and banking institutions use XRP for international payments, more people will want to buy it. Because there is only so much XRP available, this rise in demand could cause its price to rise, which would be good for people who already own it. Also, if a lot of people use XRP, the market might become more stable and mature. This would make it less volatile and a safer asset for investors and businesses. In a tweet, Riz summed up this possible change toward a new way of thinking about money. XRP is a new way to handle money. This statement shows how hopeful people who back XRP are about its ability to change things. One way that XRP could start a new era in global banking is by making traditional payment systems faster and more efficient. It is impossible to overstate how important these changes are for people who own XRP. XRP is more trustworthy and useful now that it is part of the financial systems of many countries and large financial companies. This also means that people who own XRP could gain from both the price going up and the fact that XRP is becoming more liquid and useful in everyday transactions. The price is what matters most to us though, right? And of course everyone is interested when news comes out about XRP Ripple and how its cutting edge technology could change the financial world. What the experts say will happen is nothing short of revolutionary. You'll not believe what you see. The material here is really shocking. A well-known analyst named Javan Marx tweeted about XRP's possibilities. In spite of everything, XRP still shows a very similar secret bullish divergence that caused a rise of about 62,100%. Prices are getting close to other major converging and breakout points, and this divergence has happening. This means that a bullish breakout to the upside is very possible, and it could lead to another big climb to the upside. XRP may go up to $10, $20, or even more than that sooner and more quickly than many people think. People are feeling optimistic because they think prices will go up a lot, a lot as XRP becomes more popular in the financial world. The community's bold statements are shown in Chad Steenraber's tweet, XRP $250 dollars, you might think that hitting such high prices is too much to ask, but it is still possible in the future, especially with Ripple's plans for strategic growth and global adoption. The last time the market went down, XRP was one of the few currencies that held its own. Other cryptocurrencies lost all of their gains when Bitcoin came along, but XRP stayed between 49 and 50 cents, showing that it had a good week. Fans who think XRP will one day stand out are even more sure of it now that it is so strong. Possibly planning an aggressive rally like the one six years ago, which would make them rich in the end for XRP investors to become millionaires, it's easy to see what they need to do. If XRP reached $500, they would need 2,000 tokens, which at $1,000 each would cost around $977 today. You only need 1,000 tokens, which is an investment of $488 right now. If these price targets are met, the possible returns are mind-boggling with growth rates of over 100,000%. Even though these predictions are interesting, it's important to look at different dates and the thoughts of experts. Citibanker Shannon Thorpe once said that after Ripple won its lawsuit in 2023, XRP could hit $500 in seven months. Even though this didn't happen, the group is still hopeful. Analyst Barry C. thinks that XRP prices will look very cheap by 2033, indicating that they were worth a lot more in the years before that. Jack the Rippler, another community expert, also agrees with the $1,000 forecast within 10 years. Uh, Telejane's more cautious predictions, on the other hand, say that it will reach a high point of $105 by 2050. People who own XRP can look forward to big rewards in the future. This makes now an exciting time to be a part of this changing financial change. Of course, none of this would be possible if Ripple hadn't won its case against the SEC in court. We've already talked about new relationships and even how XRP Ripple can make a whole new group of people rich. Now, Ripple looks like it's winning, which we can't miss.
Let's figure it out. So the court case between Ripple and the SEC has been a big deal in the Bitcoin world. A text from Jack the Rippler emphasizes how important it is. Jeremy Hogan, a lawyer who supports XRP, says that the SEC will not win in the end. Ripple's procedural win, in which most of the class action claims were thrown out, was a big step forward. Judge Phyllis Hamilton's decision to throw out most of the class action claims against Ripple was praised, and Stu Alderotti, Ripple's top legal officer, was happy with the outcome. Also, Christina Lippmann, who used to be the head of a division within the SEC, said that the SEC might not take the decision to a higher court, which could mean that the current ruling will remain as a single opinion from a district court. But in the SEC's case against Terraform Labs, it was decided that a token's legal standing should not change depending on the type of investor who bought it. Recent procedural victories for Ripple and the ongoing legal fight have brought a lot of attention to how complicated it is to classify XRP as a security. Even though the court's rulings are procedurally good for Ripple, the main problem has not been solved. What happens in the future, like what the jury decides and whether the law changes, will have a big impact on XRP's legal standing and the outcome of this high-profile case. The people who use XRP are still hopeful and optimistic as the legal processes continue. The idea that XRP could change the way money works and make a lot of money for its owners is a fascinating story that keeps investors interested and excited about the future. And now the only question is, what do you think about that? Do you think XRP Ripple will go up? What do you think will happen? Please tell me in the comments. We'd be interested to know. This video has now come to an end. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, please click the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to follow.